Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for mid-December uh, 2021. We're going to jump right in here, Gemini, and we're going to do um, a Celtic cross for you here um, for the middle of the month, and we're going to see what is coming up for you. Uh, it looks pretty good. Pretty much, I mean, this looks actually amazing for you. I don't want to speak too soon and jinx it here, Gemini, but um, you have really good cards, star, lovers, uh, that ruins everything, but, uh, we'll talk about that, <laughs> we'll talk about that in a minute here, Gemini, one card, as I always say, isn't gonna ruin everything in your life, I do feel like there could be some sort of surprise coming in for you this month, but you have the world, star, uh, emperor, really good cards, now you start off with the king of cups here in your first position, so I do feel like you're entering into, uh, the middle of this month in a more emotional, uh, position here, uh, you, you're in the past position as well. You have the Five of Cups right here. Uh, and that's kind of uh, standing out to me. It's something that's really jumping out to me in your reading. I normally don't really pay much attention to the past position unless it jumps out at me. And it is jumping out at me here, that Five of Cups. And I think, for whatever reason, I feel like it's connected to this King of Cups. For, you know, some of you, it could be a past love situation where maybe uh, you had some disappointments with a King of Cups type of person. Uh, it could be any gender. I don't attach gender to my cards, but it uh, could have been a water sign. Could have just been someone where it was very emotional connection, and maybe there were some disappointments here. Some of you could be dealing with that here um, with this energy. Um, for others, I feel that there is a need to kind of turn around with that Five of Cups, and we're going to talk about this in just a minute, but again, you have the King of Cups here. Uh, your crossing energy, which is the energy that is helping or hurting uh, you in this situation, you have the Ace of Wands here. Uh, I like the Ace of Wands personally. To me, it's a card of growth and abundance, and it's kind of like a spark of inspiration. It is crossing you, and your outcome in this reading is the Tower. Again, I wouldn't really worry about this just yet. We're going to clarify the entire reading. We're going to see what comes up. Uh, the tower could also just be, you know, it kind of makes sense to me is what I'm trying to say, to have the ace of wands and then to end with the tower. Ace of wands is kind of like one of those things when it's crossing, it could say that you're hoping or wishing or praying for some sort of answer, some sort of inspiration. So like, you know, sometimes we wait for inspiration to strike before we take action on something, right? Um, but when I have a reading like this, sometimes it says to me, you already know uh, what change needs to be made in your life. Even if you're saying you don't, <laughs> maybe, maybe you do really kind of like deep down inside if you think about it. And we have the Ace of Wands, which is like saying, okay, you could be waiting for inspiration here to strike. But it's like if you don't make a move, the tower, that's, you know, when the tower comes in in a reading. When we're not making a move, when we're not making a change, when we're not uh, letting go of something that no longer serves us, the tower comes in. And we're going to talk more about this when we get to the tower. But, you know, I do think it's super interesting that it's laid out like this. I think the two are connected here as well. Ace of Wands and the tower. I feel like it's saying you're waiting for inspiration. The tower is kind of like saying the inspiration is already inside of you. You even have the star, which is another card of inspiration. So it's kind of like saying if you don't make a move, uh, there's going to be a tower moment. Uh, I don't really consider tower moments to be a bad thing either. To me, uh, tower moments can be character building, um, number one. Number two, the tower always happens in our life, whether it could be a big thing or a small thing. Uh, it could also be a good surprise as well. Uh, in the area of your thoughts, you have the world card here. So I do feel that you are kind of thinking in a very, like, more expansive way. I think you're thinking about uh, making bigger improvements. And also the world can just represent one big accomplishment, something that you're trying to accomplish in your life. Could be like getting married, starting a business, um, you know, getting to a really good place with your health, whatever. You know, we all have different goals, wishes, and dreams. So this is like one big goal, one big wish. And I think you're kind of very focused on one big achievement at this time. But I would say that it's more that it's more kind of collective in the sense, in, but not like collective energy. I'm talking about collective in your life. I think it's a collection of things that you see as once they're all together, uh, it's like you see that as your ultimate achievement, meaning you know, that could be like health, wealth, happiness. It could be uh, getting married, having a family, and uh, you know having two kids and a house and you know like a collective type of achievement. And that's what I'm getting here with the world. But I feel like you're very focused on it uh, towards the end of the year. Uh, for some of you, I feel like it just boom, hits you as well. This is the other thing I'm getting here. 
where it's like maybe right now when you're watching this video, you don't have a collective dream. Maybe you don't have this kind of all together major achievement that you're going for, Gemini. But I think as we get towards the end of the year, um, this is going to become much more solid for you. I think it's going to become much more, you're going to start thinking about this more where it's like, what, what do you want all together is what this is saying to me. Uh, in the area of your foundation, you have the page of wands, uh, a lot of page energy in these readings. Um, you know, pages can represent curiosity, um, really looking into things, and that's what I feel here. This page also has a, the magnifying glass that it is holding, so it's kind of like a very curious, um, you know, looking into things type of energy here. And so I feel like you need to be curious Ace of Wands crossing energy can say that it's time for you to be creative as well. It like wants you to be Ace of Wands. I think, you know, if Ace of Wands was a person, <laughs> if it was a feeling, it would be like, I think Ace of Wands would be very happy to experiment, very happy to plant seeds. Uh, Ace of Wands is like the beginning process. It is this, the, the roots going down into the soil. So I think Ace of Wands energy in life is very happy with that initial spark of creation, if that makes sense. So if you're creating new things in your life at this time, they don't all have to work. But I think as long as you're getting the energy moving in that direction, uh, that would be a good idea for you, especially with this Page of Wands as well. It's like Page of Wands just starts something. If it doesn't work, he scraps it and he moves on to the next thing. And that's where I feel like maybe maybe you're learning to get into that creative space. Uh, the, the challenge with that is it looks very chaotic to people around you in your life. It's like if you're always creating something new and things aren't working, uh, the challenge is going to be dealing with people who are like, what are you doing? You're spinning your tires. Your Things aren't working for you. But as someone who uh, spun his tires for years and years and years, I can tell you right now all those people are eating their words. So, you know, to me, it's worth it to experiment and, um, you know, become successful later than, um, than kind of like not and be bored with life, right? Uh, in the area of the past, you have the Five of Cups. Something didn't go your way here in the past. I feel like it's connected to that King of Cups, something emotional, maybe something hurt you emotionally, could have been a relationship. But I feel like you need to look at what's coming in for you here. I do feel that this is, like, a, I feel a very strong presence here. I even feel like saying the word presence on the Five of Cups. I don't know if that's an outside influence as in a person or if it's literally a presence or whatever you want to call it. But I feel this need to kind of like turn around and focus on what you do have. Five of Cups is about being grateful for the things you have. But I, don't, I wouldn't really say this is a card of gratefulness for you. I think it's just saying that there is another way of living your life. Uh, Three of Cups could be you being disappointed in how you've been living your life up until this point because maybe it's how society told you to live. Maybe it's because it's how your mom told you to live or whatever. Um, pretty deep message here. I'm not going to lie, <laughs> Gemini. And, you know, again, kind of leaning into that tower there as well. This could be a good thing. It could say, you know what? You're, the tower could be the shakeup for other people, but who cares what other people think is what I say. Uh, next in the area of the near future, you have the star. So definitely in this like very strong nurturing place. Uh, the star, normally there is a bird um, up in a tree back here on a traditional star, uh, star card if it wants to focus. And it kind of represents knowledge and wisdom. And it also that bird has like can see everything you know can see the whole entire picture the bird represents being able to see the whole picture and so i feel for some of you it's like your picture on this goal right here in this diagonal this diagonal actually go, I, I moved this whole road down but the diagonal actually ends with the eight of wands here uh, i feel like whatever it's like you see everything you need to do to accomplish the world in the area of the next few months you have the eight of wands quick success i literally feel like the more focused you can be the faster you're going to be manifesting this goal or this kind of like whole picture type of energy that I'm getting here. I keep wanting to use the word whole and I also feel it's like a whole achievement. It's like, like I said, a collective achievement. It's not just like one thing. I hope that makes sense. But uh, I feel like you're going to be manifesting it very quickly. Uh, Eight of Wands also says be very careful with your desires. Eight of Wands traditionally was like the arrows of love. It's like you're telling the universe what you want and the universe is responding. The Eight of Wands says just be careful of your thoughts. Uh, in the area of your closest relationships, you have the Emperor here. Pretty wild. I would say like every single sign has had some form of control or challenges in the area of closest relationships. So uh, pretty weird when this happens. It seems to be a collective energy that, you know, pretty much everybody could be experiencing um, or like could be feeling the control from the people around them, uh, meaning your closest relationships, not just love, but family, friends, everything like that. And again, I think that's where the tower comes in. 
It's like some of you could be making decisions that other people don't agree with. But again, it's not their life. It is your life. So I feel like you're kind of trying to remove this control here with the emperor. I do also feel that there could be an emperor, an Aries person coming in for you if you are looking for love. You, I'm, I'm getting fire in general. It could just be a fire sign in general. Aries does stand out, but it could be fire in general. It could also be an Aquarius as well here, Gemini. Um, so it could be, you know, it could be any sign. But, you know, that's it. It could also be another Gemini I'm getting. But... Or someone who has, like, Gemini moon or something like that in their chart. Uh, Gemini rising. Um, but in the area of your future thoughts, you have the lovers here. You could be thinking a lot about love, obviously. But the lovers could also be being at a crossroads. Lovers is, like, responding to your higher self. On a traditional lovers card, there's an angel that is in the clouds above the lovers. And that angel is your higher self. So, really, I feel here in the area of your future feelings, not only could you be thinking about love... But you could also be responding to your higher self here in this position. And you could be deciding to make a change in your life, which we see here. This is a pretty drastic change, I would say. Gemini with the tower. Um, she's kind of like hugging this tower. I actually really like this tower card. I think it's a beautiful card. I love this deck, Tarot of the Mystical Moments. But she's holding on to that tower here. The tower kind of says we need to release the tower. The whole point of the tower card is that the two people who are inside the tower have built the walls up too high around them, and they need to release it. They need to kind of, they have built up these ideas, thoughts, plans, whatever, in their head, and they need to kind of like let that go so they can be more successful. Or um, really, the whole point of the tower is that those people that are falling out of the tower are being brought back down to earth. They're being grounded in reality. So I feel for some of you, there is a drastic change coming in for you here, but it's going to be kind of like something that, uh, you know, kind of leads you to maybe a better reality, but uh, this is a pretty heavy reading, <laughs> pretty deep, I'm going to say here, Gemini, let's dig into it and see. Uh, with the King of Cups and Ace of Wands, you have the Five of Swords here. Could be a separation that some of you are experiencing. Maybe it's one of those separations uh, that you're experiencing with a King of Cups type of person. I'm not saying they have to be a water sign. Could be any sign I'm getting. I think it's more referring to the emotional state of both people in this situation. So some of you could be having a very emotional separation, or you already did have this uh, Five of Cups, right? And some of you could be thinking about regrets in the situation. But, you know, there's plenty of fish in the sea, right? Uh, with the world, you have the Ten of Pentacles. This is definitely some sort of huge goal that you're trying to achieve. Uh, Ten of Pentacles is everything you want in your life. Ten of Pentacles is the tree of life. So it's everything you desire to have uh, all together. And I feel like some of you are kind of like working very hard to manifest everything you want. With the Page of Wands, you have the Six of Pentacles here. Yep, it's definitely time for you to start. How funny is that? I was talking about planting seeds with that Ace of Wands. I was saying, like, the Ace of Wands energy would be perfectly happy just planting the seed, watching the roots go down, seeing what grows. I literally said that with the Page of Wands, and here you go. Literally, the card of planting seeds, Six of Pentacles. There you go. Uh, that's exactly what I'd be doing. Be a really good time for experimentation for you uh, right now, clearly. A Gemini, I would say trying new things, um, trying all your ideas, seeing what works would be a good idea. With the star card, Ace of Wands, passionate new beginning. I think that you need to focus on creation. Like I said, it's like that spark of life. That initial spark of life, that initial release is what you need to focus on here with the star, Ace of Wands, twice. Super powerful reading, I would say to you, Gemini. Um, you know, again, even though you have the tower, to me the tower isn't that bad, number one. Number two, uh, I actually think it's good in this case because uh, to me it's like a drastic change you're making that needs to happen. Ace of Wands is a, you know, major new beginning. It is, like I said, that spark of life. <laughs> uh, so there's clearly some sort of new beginning coming for you. With the Eight of Wands, you have the Four of Cups. This is the only thing that will get in your way right here. Eight of Wands, you're like manifesting. Four of Cups, he's manifesting those cups in front of him, but he is like disappointed in what he has manifested. I always tell people, if you're manifesting things in your life, don't ignore the steps. Don't ignore the things that you're manifesting, right? Because you never know. It's like we can't just like say to ourselves like, oh, um, you know, I, I want a relationship, so I'm going to manifest Brad Pitt in my life, right? We can't just say that, and we can't just manifest Brad Pitt next week. It's like we might manifest, you know, his brother Stu Pitt uh, next week. So maybe we date Stu for a little while and then maybe we don't like Stu and then we get to meet Brad and then we can date Brad Pitt if that makes sense. So it's like we can't skip Stu. We can't skip the step, right? And I feel like this is saying don't skip steps if you're manifesting here, especially with that eight of wands. You got to you gotta like see it through to the end. And that's what the four of cups reminds us. I got cards jump flying out of this deck right now. Uh, with the emperor, you have the wheel of fortune. Uh, 
this is like your fortunes changing. Um, you know, we all, whenever I get these powerful cards, Tower to me is a very powerful card. Uh, the only thing more powerful would be Judgment uh, coming up with the Tower to me. That is the most powerful combination of the Tarot because it's a very significant um, change, very significant uh, or very drastic wake up call. Um, but this is pretty powerful. Wheel of Fortune showing up here with the Emperor. So there's clearly some sort of change in your fortunes uh, coming in for you here, Gemini. It's like things are turning around in your relationships. Things are improving. With the lovers, you have the Eight of Wands here. I like this. I feel like there could be communication coming in for you uh, if you're desiring love, for example. I also feel that like being in a positive relationship could be very beneficial for you as well. It's like sometimes if we're in a positive relationship where we're lifting each other up, we can manifest things a lot faster. And with the Tower, you have the Emperor here. Some of you could be releasing an Aries or an Emperor-type person from your life. Um, uh, for others, I feel like you're just following a better plan here. Um, pretty powerful reading. I feel like the focus is right here. Ten of Pentacles in the world. This is, again, I keep... The only words I have to express here are collective achievement, whatever that means for you here, Gemini. So it's like you're manifesting something that is a big goal. Like it's a couple of things together, if that makes sense. But you see it as one thing, which I think is true. Again, like if you want to have a family, it's like nobody just wants a family. It's like they, they see it as having the house, the dog, the, you know, there, there are other things that go into it. And, um, you know, I mean, like literally <laughs> that's what's on this card, right? House, dog, castle, old person, <laughs> everything right there, children. So, you know, again, I feel like there's, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying it has to be a family for you. It could be anything that you want. But I think there's like little things that, that kind of all match up here. And I think you want it all. And I would go for it here, Gemini, because I think you will have it all. Damn. Now, this is pretty powerful reading. So I love it. I definitely feel like you're in for some good stuff here. So uh, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what is going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.